Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to process a refund using your Clover Mini POS system. The first thing you want to do is select the refund button and you have two different options here. If it was a purchase that was made um, on a day, not today, yesterday, the day before, etc. You can go ahead and enter the amount here that you want to refund. So I'll put $10, issue refund, then confirm the refund amount and they can go ahead and enter their form of payment that they want the refund to go back on. Okay, and then their refund has been issued. And from there, the receipt will print out. They can also get an email or text message. So you can go ahead and select done. Now, if this is a transaction that was done um, the day of and they wanna go back and do a refund for it, you can go ahead and look up past payment. And from there, you can see all of the transactions that were done. So there you go. Um, we can go ahead and select a transaction here and then select refund confirm and here you can see that you can process the refund back to the original form of payment or we also have this Clover Mini set up to accept gift cards so they can do that as well too. You just select the form of payment and as you can see right here the refund button goes white and that means that the refund was accepted. Um, if they want a receipt for their refund, you can go ahead and receipts and you can either print the refund receipt or you could also email or text message the guest as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. That is how you complete a refund in two different ways using your Clover Mini POS system. If you have any questions, please leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe to our channel for more content like this and like this video if you enjoyed watching. Thanks again.